Hello guys, welcome back to today's video. This is my back to school stationery haul kindly presented to you guys by Stationery Pal. They kindly gifted me this box of goodies and I'm so excited to share with you today's video. In my back to school stationery haul, I also mentioned a lot of items so be sure to check them out. They have hundreds of Japanese stationery, all at an affordable price. And if you even want to save yourself more money, you can use the code Emily Studying. So first up here, we have the Tombow Dual Brush Pens. I absolutely love these, and I picked out a few colors that I specifically love, including this yellow. I find the Tombows are extremely useful for beginners as they were one of my first brush pens and helped me get into calligraphy. Not to mention they have, I think, over 200 colors, which is pretty insane if you ask me. Also, my camera ran out of memory at this moment, so I wasn't able to swatch the rest. However, you can see the black and gray brush pens. Next are the Zebra Mild Liners. I absolutely love these highlighters if you know me. And then I also got this limited edition Zebra Mild Liner Toy Story Pack and the Zebra Mild Liner Brush Pens in the Cool color. So these are really cool limited edition Toy Story themed Mild Liners. I thought these were really cute and I couldn't resist buying them. The Mild Liners come with a chisel and pointed tip which is super useful. In the brush pen it comes with a brush tip and a super fine tip. I'm not going to swatch these ones as I'm giving them to my friend as I already have them. However, I'm going to swatch the other ones, including the Toy Story ones. These come with light colors, similar to the fluorescent pack, except there's a gray inside there. And the Zebra Mod Liner brush pens are also amazing. You can see that the tip is super fine so you can get nice up and down strokes and not to mention the red is amazing so moving on to the different pens i got first up i'll be showing you the zebra sarasa gel pens these are my favorite gel pens and then i got this limited edition pokemon zebra sarasa pens they looked super cool and i had to get them So I kind of struggled with finding the opening, but it turns out it's just like a Ziploc bag and you can just take them out. These are super cute! Oh my god! So here I'm just doing a swatch of the colors. I find these to be super smooth and they don't scratch if you know what I mean. Not to mention the black Zebra Sarasa is my favorite all-time black pen. Next here, I'm swatching the Pokemon Edition pen. These come in pretty basic colors, and it also comes with a nice black pen. This is the Pilot High Tech C needle tip pen. I thought this was really cool as it has a super fine tip, and plus the ink is super smooth. This is the Zebra Sarasa Vintage, and it's from a vintage Zebra Sarasa set. However, I only really wanted the black pen, as you know, I love black pens. So I had to try this one out. And this is the Pilot G2. I've always wanted to try this one as I've heard a lot about it, and yeah, it lives up to the hype. It is pretty good. Here's the Pilot Juice Up. This one is pretty similar to the Pilot High Tech C, however, it comes in a nicer body. And then this one I had to buy because of the pen body. Oh my god, it is so pretty and shiny and gold. However, it's not a black pen as I thought it was in here. I'm like rethinking life because I realized it's not a black pen. However, I'll just switch it out with a black refill as I love the body of this pen. 
Here I have the Zebra Sarasa Mark-Ons. These are specifically designed to withstand smudges when you highlight. So of course I had to try these out and then I put it to the test. So this was minimal smudge after 5 seconds. And I thought it was pretty good. You can't see a smudge on the super light neon yellow. However, the 0.4 millimeters was much better. I by accident made a mistake too. And then here is the Tombow Fudino Suke brush pen, my all time favorite brush pen, and my current one as Reno the Ink. So we have this one. Oh my god. The new brush pen is like, it's like so nice. And it was one of my first brush pens too. Here is the Jelly Roll white pen. I thought I just might buy an extra. The first time I did it, I didn't let the black dry, so I waited a bit and then it finally worked. And then I bought some washi tape. This is super cool as it comes in a set of five and you pay for the entire set. This is the wave theme, so it's kind of inspired by like Japanese things. I don't really know. And then this red plaid washi tape that I had to get because of Amanda Rage Lee. Anyway, I'm just doing a quick swatch of all the different tapes. Next up is these large gold paper clips I got so I could use it in my bullet journal planned with me videos to hold everything together. Here are some pins and then some cute erasers. These ones are food dessert themed kinda, and the eraser works pretty well I would say after doing this test. Anyway, just some simple sticky note tabs, and then my Kakuyo Campus Loose Leaf A4 paper. I love Kakuyo paper, you don't know how smooth this paper is, however, I found one of the issues is finding a binder to put it in, but of course I had to get this paper, and throughout the video, if you're wondering which paper I was using, it was this. The paper just like doesn't bleed, and the pen glides across the paper, if you know what I mean. Anyway, I put it into a special binder, as that's the only paper that fits. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video, brought to you by Stationery Pal. Make sure to like and subscribe. See you next week.